The moment about point O caused by force F is calculated in vector form simply as the cross product of position vector R and force vector F. Note that R could be any vector as long as it starts from point O and ends anywhere on the line of action of the force. Here's a quick review of vector cross product. Let C be the cross product of two arbitrary vectors A and B. C equals to A cross B. We can join the tails of the two vectors together and then determine the angle between them theta. The magnitude of vector C is determined as the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B times sine theta. That's the magnitude of the cross product. What about the direction of vector C? The direction is again determined by right hand rule. When you roll your four right hand fingers from vector A towards vector B, your thumb points to vector C's direction. Vector C is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B. In other words, vector C is perpendicular to the plane formed by vector A and vector B. A cross B is not the same as B cross A. In fact, B cross A represents another vector C prime that is in the opposite direction as vector C and therefore equals to negative vector C. If vectors A and B are given in the Cartesian forms, then we can use a matrix to determine the Cartesian form of the cross product of A and B. In a 3 by 3 matrix, we fill in I, J, K, and the components of vector A and vector B in this order. Then the cross product equals to AY times BZ minus AZ times BY times I minus AX times BZ minus AZ times BX times J and lastly plus AX times BY minus AY times BX times K.